A painful but realistic part of life is that sometimes the ones you love aren't always the ones in your corner rooting for you, and they may even want what you have. Sometimes jealousy is not as dramatic as a Disney movie, such as Snow White being poisoned by her jealous and arguably narcissistic stepmother, or Cinderella being bullied by her obnoxious stepsisters. Jealousy is not a crime, and feeling this way from time to time is completely normal. However, it can definitely cross the line from healthy to dangerous if it's not addressed properly, and it can make people do some messed up things. Here are some signs to figure out whether you have a jealous friend in your corner and what to look out for. Competition What's wrong with some healthy competition? Well, jealousy is like a disease and there's nothing healthy about that. Friends are supposed to be supportive and encouraging, but if you feel that your friend is always competing against you, then it's a clear sign that they're jealous of you. It could be the smallest things too, such as who gets more views on their TikTok reels or who gets the most compliments on their outfit. Over time, it can be exhausting dealing with a friend who's always competing with you and can cause bitterness and resentment to build up. Competition doesn't always signal jealousy, but if you notice your friend makes everything an intense competition and constantly compares herself to you, then it might be time to reconsider the friendship. Critical much? Out of all the signs, this one might be the most heartbreaking. There's nothing worse than being harshly put down by someone who you thought was your friend and that you could trust. Criticism could also come in the form of harmless teasing. But usually this is just persistent criticism masked as a joke. For example, let's say you and your friend go to the same school together and you get a good grade on an assignment. A jealous and critical friend might minimize your accomplishment and make a rude remark, such as, you probably only earned that grade because you kissed up to the teacher. Ouch. If this sounds familiar, it's important that you communicate boundaries with your friend and let them know that their comments are more hurtful than they think. Smear campaign. You know all hell has broken loose when your friend creates a smear or gossip campaign about you. And we're not just talking about burn books. This is usually a very premeditated and calculated attempt to bring you down in the eyes of your peers with the intention of elevating themselves. You could call it backstabbing in the first degree. All jokes aside, when a friend is going out of their way to gossip and spread lies about you, then their jealousy has been brewing for a long time and they've gradually built up resentment towards you which makes it even more toxic. It's not just harmless jealousy anymore, because now they're putting their negative feelings towards you in action, and they have an endgame in mind. It's also easier for them to hurt you if you still think that they're your friend, because you might not suspect them of being the source of the gossip and lies that are being spread about you. Nothing good can come out of a situation like this, so if you find out your friend has been gossiping and spreading rumors about you, then it's time to cut ties entirely. Backhanded compliments, also referred to as negging, which is when a person makes a remark to you or about you which can be interpreted as both an insult and a compliment. You could also say that backhanded compliments are poorly disguised insults. If your friend is constantly dishing out these types of compliments, it's usually a sign that they're projecting their insecurities and frustrations onto you, which includes jealousy. Here are some examples. Wow, I can't believe you wore that. I wish I had your confidence. I'm so surprised you passed your final exams. Congratulations. Backhanded compliments are meant to dim your shine and rain on your parade. So don't let me bring you down. If your friend is doing this, try confronting the issue head on. Ask them for a clarification on their remark and let them know that it feels more like an insult than a compliment. This type of direct communication can salvage the friendship or it can, at the very least, hold your friend accountable for their inappropriate behavior. A form of flattery? So, they say imitation is the highest form of flattery. You may have a friend who just loves your taste in music, art, clothes, etc. And that might feel great at first, but then you notice that they start copying everything you do, shamelessly. It's one thing to draw inspiration from other people, and it's another thing to just hijack their entire persona and make it your own. This is actually a sign of a deeper issue. If your friend seems to lack a solid identity of their own, then they may look up to you, but this also means that they want what you have, and that can be frustrating. It starts out innocently, but could manifest into something worse such as going after your friends, loved ones, and even career aspirations. In this case, it's important to draw some boundaries and even politely confront your friend if they seem to copy you constantly. 
Hot and cold. Do you have a friend who seems to be really excited to see you one minute and then act completely cold and closed off the next day? Well, this could mean they really don't value the friendship, but it also means that they have built up resentment due to jealousy, and you might not even realize it. Pay attention to your friend's behavior whenever you tell them about something positive in your life or about something you've accomplished. Usually, you can see almost an immediate change in their body language and demeanor, and you can gauge how they're feeling. Something will always feel off. Your friend might act like this because of a deep insecurity and self-doubt, which causes them to not only feel jealous of you, but they may even react with sudden anger. Your friend might feel that you are rubbing your accomplishments in their face, even though that's not your intention. Clingy. Jealous behavior doesn't just mean a person is jealous of you, it can also mean they're jealous of those around you, which can take the form of possessive and clingy behavior. This is something that isn't discussed enough. But if you're dealing with a jealous friend, sometimes they'll do things to isolate you from your social circle, and they may even lash out when you make new friends. This type of behavior also stems from deep insecurity and low self-esteem. Your friend might be jealous of you if you're able to make friends easily, and they might be afraid of losing you at the same time. Although the behavior is toxic and shouldn't be enabled, you should still approach the situation with empathy and compassion. If your friend acts like this, odds are they might be dealing with unresolved trauma and emotional issues from abuse they endured. Remember, hurt people hurt people. There's always an underlying reason for someone's behavior, so speak with your friend and see if you can address the issue, while also being supportive. What is your experience with jealous friends? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to check out 7 types of fake friends linked in the description. As always, stay kind and have an amazing day.